guys, welcome back to another one. If you were new to the channel, I am Gold Pony. I do new car, truck, SUV reviews on YouTube. And today, we are in the new 2022 Genesis G70, courtesy of Genesis of York in York, PA. For more information on their inventory, please feel free to check out the link in the description box below. And so, wanted to check this one out today because this is a brand new look for the 2022 G70. Not only that, and Elbetter better follows the rest of the Genesis lineup, of course, with this new look. There's better driving dynamics for the 2022 model year and some new tech as well. So quite a bit that's new for this one. But anyways, you still get America's best warranty being five year, 60,000 mile bumper to bumper, 10 year, 100,000 miles on the powertrain. You still get three years of complimentary maintenance, meaning you don't have to pay for the oil changes, tire rotations, things like that for the first three years of ownership. That's pretty cool. And in this video, I will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking, steering wheel, ride quality, sound system, exhaust clip, all of that fun stuff. So having said all of that, what do you guys say? Let's just go ahead and jump right into it. And as always, let's start with pricing. And so there will be several different configurations when it comes to the 2022 G70. First one is the 2.0T rear wheel drive starting at $37,525. If you wanted to add all wheel drive to that, add $2,100. And then there is a prestige package for that particular engine configuration that is going to add $4,000 then. But then there is the 3.3T V6 rear wheel drive. That one starts at $42,100. If you wanted to add all wheel drive, add $2,100 yet again. Sport Advanced package for that one adds 4300 sport prestige adds 8300 and lastly the launch edition which is the one we have today which by the way is limited to a number of 500 units produced so a little bit of scarcity there that's pretty cool but that is going to add ten thousand four hundred dollars then but so anyways as i alluded to there are two different engine configurations for the 2022 g70 first one being a two liter turbocharged inline four cylinder this one puts out 252 horsepower at 6200 rpm 260 60 pound feet of torque coming in at 1400 rpm power center rear wheels or all wheels through an eight speed automatic with paddle shifters zero to 60 approximately 6.2 seconds for that one with mpgs coming in at 21 in the city 31 on the highway for the rear wheel drive 20 in the city 28 then on the highway for the all wheel drive taking premium unleaded fuel but then there is the other engine configuration being the one that we have today this one is a 3.3 liter twin turbo v6 putting out 365 horsepower power at 6,000 RPM, 376 pound-feet of torque, coming in at 1,300 RPM, sent to rear wheels or all wheels yet again, through an eight-speed automatic with paddle shifters, zero to 60 time for this one, 4.5 seconds, with MBG numbers coming in at 18 in the city, 27 on the highway for the rear-wheel drive, and 17 in the city, 25 on the highway then for the all-wheel drive, yet again, taking premium unleaded fuel. And so before we do any kind of fun acceleration test here in our G70, I did want to mention there is a drive mode selector located directly behind the shifter that will give you drive modes, including comfort, smart, eco, sport, and custom. And actually, in addition to that, there is a sport plus driving mode as well this year. And by the way, that's new for the 2022 G70, and that's pretty cool. And actually a new drift mode as well. That's only going to be available with the sport package, by the way. So I did want to mention that. Essentially, that is available for the all-wheel drive configuration and it's going to send all power to the rear wheels it's going to turn off traction control essentially allowing you to drift all over the place so anyways other than that these drive modes will adjust things like the shift points the throttle response the steering sensitivity the suspension settings the all-wheel drive system engagement also the seating i just put it in sport driving mode and the side bolsters on this driver's seat just kind of tightened up better hugging me in place maybe for a little quicker drive on the back roads around the corners that is pretty darn cool and not only that it adjusted the exhaust note quite substantially as well we'll get to that exhaust clip in a little bit here but ultimately that's pretty much everything you could possibly adjust when it comes to driving modes out there right now so that is pretty cool but nonetheless now let's go ahead and find a straightaway let me put the paddle shifters here to the test first and let's see how quickly these things are going to react for us here all right you guys let's put these things to the test bit quick but <laughs> paddle shifters were all right not the very quickest reactive paddle shifters but they're still pretty darn quick i will say that and they feel good too they feel very high quality so i do want to mention that as well but now let me go ahead and give back full control here to the g70 and let's do this one more time and let's do a quick acceleration test now let's see how quickly this thing really feels getting up to 60 in approximately 4.5 seconds all right you guys coming out onto the main road here in three two one Mm. 
<laughs> Freaking love it. <laughs> that thing is dang quick. I'll tell you what, I just drove the uh, the new GV70 and it has a similar engine. It has a twin turbo V6. This thing feels so much quicker than that. And that one does 60 and 4.9. This one does it in 4.5. It is a noticeable difference. Let me just tell you that this thing is dang quick. Oh, you shouldn't have any issues with merch on to the highway. That, yeah, that was fun. Anyways, to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. And so up front, you will find 13.8 inch ventilated front discs. In the back, 13.4 inch rear discs. Performance Brembo brakes coming with the 3.3 liter Sport Prestige package or launch edition that we have today. So that's gonna give you a little better stopping feel there. 60 to zero stopping distance, by the way, comes in at an impressive 109 feet. And actually for a performance sedan, that is dang impressive. Usually with sedan, you coming in the 120s but 109 feet that's really really good you guys by the way braking feel is perfectly fine absolutely no issues there whatsoever but then touching on suspension and handling in the front you will find an independent strut type front suspension in the back independent multi-link rear suspension front and rear stabilizer bars sport tune suspension coming with a 3.3 liter wanted to mention that and actually the sport prestige and launch edition trims are in addition going to add to that a limited slip differential and an electronically controlled suspension as well so let me elaborate on the electronically controlled suspension that's essentially what genesis uses as their adaptive damp suspension it actually uses a camera system to monitor the roads imperfections and then adjusts accordingly based on that to give you a much smoother ride essentially so I didn't want to mention that that's how that system actually works but overall as far as ride quality goes it feels perfectly fine so definitely soaking up Pennsylvania's road imperfections quite nicely I will say it doesn't feel quite as smooth as the GV70 I just got done driving but still a plenty smooth ride without a doubt but touching then on steering feel I will say it is a noticeable difference than the previous generation. This must be one of the things that Genesis adjusted because I remember even on the previous 3.3 liter twin turbo G70, back before this whole redesign, it was kind of a looser steering feel, but with this new one, the 2022 year, it is a noticeably heavier steering feel. So I appreciate that. Maybe Genesis watched one of my previous videos, took some notes and made adjustments for this year. If you did Genesis, I know you did. Thank you. Anyways, then touching on cabin noise, there is an acoustic laminated front windshield and with any particular package option, acoustic laminated front side glass then as well. So for that particular reason, it is a very serene cabin with the exception of this brilliant exhaust note that I have currently because I put it in sport driving mode. But of course, you can put it back to comfort mode and that essentially goes away. But a very serene cabin here in the G70, I will say that. But then touching on visibility, I can see perfectly fine out the back. Definitely not gonna have any issues with rear visibility there. In addition to that, any package option is going to give you rain sensing windshield wipers. Essentially what that is, is when the G70 detects any kind of mist or rainfall, it's gonna automatically turn on those windshield wipers for you. So it's just one last thing you got to worry about there that is pretty cool and if you were to go with that sport prestige or launch edition trim level you will get a head-up display that I am currently looking at right now it's giving me my current speed the speed limit of any given road that I am on and also some safety features actually as well but that about rounds out the performance segment of this review you guys let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2022 Genesis G70 all right, and so here she is now, you guys, the new 2022 Genesis G70 finished in Melbourne gray. Let me elaborate on this matte gray paint color real quick. This is part of the launch edition trim. The launch edition trim is going to give you a choice of one of two matte colors, this being one of them. Anyways, let's go ahead and start up front. Of course, a completely revised front end for the 2022 G70. And of course, it adopts that large shield-shaped front grille used by the rest of the current Genesis lineup. Another thing I wanted to point out though, that adaptive cruise control sensor is still integrated very well into that front grille. So did want to mention that is still there. To the sides though, LED quad beam headlights do come standard across the board. They of course do come with the automatic feature as well, meaning when it starts to get dark at night, those headlights will turn on automatically for you there. LED daytime running lights also coming standard and then to the bottom corners there, you guys can probably see it. There are some front air curtains helping direct air around the wheel and tire combination, giving a little better aerodynamics there as well. But one of my favorite features, I think I've mentioned this in my previous reviews of the G70 as well, is this Genesis logo and how the creases around it kind of just continue on to the hood and kind of open up there at the tail end. So I absolutely love that design element as well. But overall, so much better of a front end to the G70 compared to the previous generation. Not that the previous one was bad, 
but this one is dang good. I just wanted to mention that. But now let's go ahead and make our way to the side of the G70. All right, and so I'm kind of limited on space here because of all the woods here, but hopefully the side profile is going to do it justice. But gloss black window surrounds are an option, or you can get this dark chrome look that we currently have, that you are currently looking at, I should say, right now. But one of my favorite design elements to the new G70 are these gloss black accents found in the lower portion of the front fender. In case you guys are curious, you guys can see it towards the bottom there. Yes, they are actually fun functional for aerodynamic purposes. So I do actually like that they are there. So well done, Genesis. I like these accents. But so then taking a look at the side mirrors, they are body colored power adjustable side mirrors. They will be heated across the board with LED integrated turret signals as well. They are also, however, power folding with the Genesis logo that illuminates onto the ground at night. And by the way, that comes with any particular package option that you get. So I did want to mention that, but that is a pretty cool look. At night, can't show it to you guys right now, but it's gonna look pretty darn good at night. So I did wanna mention that. Then taking a look at the wheel setup, because this is specific again to our launch edition that we're currently looking at, but 18 inch alloys coming with the 2.0 T, 19 inch alloys then for every other configuration and specific lightweight alloy wheels for this launch edition trim that we currently have today. They kind of look like the performance pack wheels back on the Ford Mustang GT that I had. So they look pretty darn good, I will say that. And the fact that they're lightweight for the launch edition makes them even better, of course. But overall, that about rounds out the side of this one. Let's go ahead and make our way to the back. It's open now since we are around back of this one. Of course, you have a matte gray shark fin antenna located all the way to the top there. Just below that, you kind of have a somewhat integrated rear spoiler. It kind of looks like it's not technically a rear spoiler, but it looks pretty darn good there. Nonetheless, just below that, Genesis lettering spelled out horizontally. Of course, you have the all-wheel drive badging to the right and of course the engine designation just beside that as well but then to the sides redesigned led taillights coming standard across the board gotta love that as well and all the way to the bottom you will find dual oval exhaust outlets coming standard integrated into the rear bumper it's such a good look when exhaust outlets are integrated into the bumper in my personal opinion so Having said that, like I said earlier, there are a couple different exhaust note configurations based on the drive mode. So I'm gonna play both of them for you guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. As always, here is that exhaust clip. All right, so now since we are around back of the G70 here, when it comes to opening that rear trunk, it actually is a hands-free smart trunk that comes standard across the board. So that is pretty cool. Essentially, when your hands are full, you just walk up behind it, it beeps three times, and that trunk will open up automatically for you. Or you can open it up manually. There actually is kind of a hidden button located on the trunk itself. So you do have that option as well. But once opened up, cargo capacity comes in at 10.5 cubic feet. If that was not enough space, there is a 60-40 split, meaning the rear seats do fold down for quite a bit of extra space there if you needed it then. Also found in that cargo area, you will find LED cargo lighting. You don't always get the LEDs back there. You usually get the halogens actually. So LEDs were pretty cool to find back there. Also within the cargo floor, you do have a spare tire under there and you could probably fit some stuff around the spare tire for like some in-floor storage then as well if you wanted to. But then make your way up to the rear legroom that is going to come in at 34.8 inches. So for reference, I am an even six feet tall. This is how much space I had in the rear seats there. Rear center armrest with cup holders does come standard. Rear ventilation coming standard as well. There is one USB charging port found back there as well. But then make our way to the front seats. 12-way power adjustable driver's seat with four-way power lumbar does come standard. Leatherette surfaces are also going to come standard. Heated front seats also coming standard. But then if you jump up to the 2.0 Prestige or the 3.3 liter, you do get leather seating. Memory settings are gonna come with all all the 3.3 liter trim levels, ventilated front seats coming with the 3.3 liter Sport Advanced trim level and up, Napa leather seating coming with the Sport Prestige then and Launch Edition trim levels as well. And overall actually, seating was plenty comfortable. I definitely did not have any issues with the seat comfort whatsoever. I love the quilted look as well. It is pretty darn cool. Also, 
I love the red leather. That is pretty cool. It definitely stands out, so it makes a statement. So definitely no issues with seat comfort whatsoever. But then taking a look at the steering wheel, it is tilt and telescoping. It is power adjustable for any of the 3.3 liter trim levels, and it will be heated then as well. That comes standard, by the way. That is pretty cool. I liked that. And actually, that button for the heated steering wheel is located right around the climate control system stuff as opposed to actually on the steering wheel. So I wanted to mention that for you guys. But nonetheless, let's go ahead now and make our way to the startup. And let me start by showing you guys the key. You do have your Genesis logo on the one side. When you flip it over, lock, unlock the button to pop the rear hatch. And that circular button that says hold, that is going to be your remote start as well but it is all a push button start and you actually do get a digital key if you were to go with the 3.3 liter sport advanced trim level it up but essentially it's just an app that you download onto your phone you hold your phone up to the driver's side door handle or any door handle for that matter and then place it on the wireless phone charger and then you're able to actually start this one up by the push button start so i wanted to mention that but nonetheless I'm gonna go ahead and put my foot on the brake and press that engine start button. But once started up, speedometer is gonna be all the way to your left. Then there is a digital portion to the gauges front and center and also to your right, including that tachometer. But to adjust what is on those gauges, there actually are steering wheel mounted controls found on the right side of the steering wheel. So with that, you could check out your outside temperature, how many miles you have left until you hit empty. There is a compass up there course trip a trip b plenty of safety information you could check out up there when you need your next oil change the list goes on pretty much everything you could possibly want up there but then making our way to overall interior quality there is a wide sunroof with any particular package option that's how you're going to get the sunroof there overhead sunglass holder is going to come standard across the board there is a microfiber suede headliner for the 3.3 liter sport prestige and launch edition trims that is currently what you guys are looking at right now i love suede headliners Those are typically what you find in Porsche, Lamborghini, cars like that. So definitely a huge fan of seeing that here in our G70. Aluminum trim accents found on the doors as well as just above the passenger side glove box. Also love that. And there's some aluminum trim accents on the actual glove box handle itself, which is pretty darn cool, I gotta say. Alloy foot pedals coming with the sport packages and of course our launch edition trim then as well. Wireless phone charger can be had with any particular package option. That is pretty darn cool. And overall, I absolutely love the interior quality. I love that the quilted leather on the seats is brought onto the doors as well and there's plenty of soft touch surfaces i love the contrast stitching throughout i love that it's a two-toned interior with the red and the black accents everywhere just in front of the shifter you'll find a 12 volt power outlet usb charging port and of course your wireless phone charger there as well just behind the shifter you have your drive mode adjustments electromechanical parking brake and dual cup holders of course as well and just behind that Within the center armrest, there is one USB charging port and a decent amount of space overall. Then also one more thing I didn't want to forget, there is an auto dimming rear view mirror, of course, with home link controls for up to three different garage doors. So interior quality is certainly on point in the new G70 without a doubt. But let me now make my way to one of the new features for the 2022 G70 on the interior here, which is going to be the tech, a 10 and a quarter inch color touchscreen display now comes standard whereas previously I think it was an 8 inch screen if I remember correctly but nonetheless this is pretty darn cool Bluetooth and audio streaming do come standard Android Auto Apple CarPlay factory navigation system also coming standard you actually have a voice memo system up there as well so if you do not want to forget something simply just make that voice memo and then play it back at a later date so you don't forget check out your climate control information up there as well and my personal favorite sounds of nature so like i always do in hyundai and genesis products let me go ahead and pause for a second here and let you guys listen to some sounds of nature So now that we have got that out of the way, you can also check out your radio information up there as well. And by the way, there are a couple different sound systems for the G70. First one being a six speaker sound system that comes standard. Then there is a 15 speaker Lexicon sound system with 660 watts that can be had with any of the package options. That's gonna come with any of the packages. So having said that, what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and turn on the radio today, see what we got playing here. And let's test out the clarity of this one. I 
it's great. Lexicon always kills it. Like the clarity is always what really blows me away with these Lexicon sound systems, whether it be in the G80, the GV70, or this G70. Clarity is 100% on point. And I guess it's expected with that many speakers, but bass is plenty fine as well. But the clarity is really what blows me away there. But last thing I wanted to mention to you guys on the infotainment screen is, of course, when you do put the G70 in reverse, you will find a rear view camera coming standard across the board. It's very high definition as well. So well done, Genesis, for that. But not only that, there is a surround view monitor then coming with the Sport Prestige and Launch Edition trim levels, which is going to give you that bird's eye view all around you to the right there. But as always, that is going to lead us into safety. And so it gets even better when it comes to safety because the G70 is an IIHS top safety pick plus which is the very highest designation given by IIHS. So that pretty much says it all right there, but I'm gonna continue nonetheless. Front side side curtain airbags do come standard, driver's knee airbag as well. In the back, you're gonna have latch, AKA lower anchors to tethers for children for the rear car seats, rear child door locks, tire pressure monitoring system, but also coming standard across the board, a ton of advanced safety, including adaptive cruise control with stop and go, forward collision avoidance assist with junction turning, highway driving assist, driver attention warning system, lane keep assist, lane following assist, blind spot monitoring, system with rear cross traffic alert safe exit warning and rear occupant alert then as well and then if you were to go with any of the package options that is going to add front and rear parking sensors then as well and so ultimately when it comes to my final thoughts here of the new g70 the 3.3 liter by the way the twin turbo v6 it's nuts it's crazy fast for a sedan so i love that particular engine configuration great braking actually on this thing as well 60 to zero and 109 feet is absolutely brilliant i do want to say that the new active valve exhaust system is really good as well i'm sure you guys could tell that from the exhaust clip great safety on this one ihs top safety pick plus like i said you get america's best warranty as far as room for improvement goes it is really only one thing you guys one thing only and that is going to be a full digital gauge cluster and let me elaborate on that because the gv70 i just got done driving not only had a full digital gauge cluster but a 3d digital gauge cluster which is the best gauge cluster I have ever seen. So Genesis, I know you're capable of it. When you get a chance, go ahead and put a full digital gauge cluster in the G70. After all, my Sonata even has a full digital gauge cluster. I think the G70 should get it as well. But that about rounds out this review, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think of the G70 in the comment section below. Be sure to follow me on TikTok if you want to see some short clips of these vehicles before they actually get to YouTube. Make sure you hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews. That is what we do here on this channel after all. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold.